Fellas, listen to me. When you are interested in a woman and you tell that woman you are attracted to her or you find her attractive or you would like to get to know her and you exchange numbers with that woman, if it gets to the point that you are dating that woman and you're taking her out or you're whining and dining her, taking her to museums, taking her to dinner, taking her to the movies, whatever it is that you consider dating and courting her, don't think for one second, and I say this respectfully to men that's watching my video message, don't think for one second that that woman owes you her body. Don't think for one second that that woman has to have sex with you. Years ago, I made a video message. You guys probably seen it if you didn't. I have to make another video in 2022 because there are a lot of men, you all believe that just because you take a woman out that you are supposed to have sex with that woman. But I'm here to tell you, not one woman that you do nice things for has to give her your body. That woman does not have to go to bed with you. The way this works is this. When you show interest in somebody and you tell them that you like them and you tell them that you want to get to know them and you're interested in them, you're supposed to prove that. You are supposed to show and be demonstrative in showing that lady that you've taken a personal liking for you're supposed to show her that you actually really do like her. But you showing that woman that you like her does not mean that that woman owes you her vagina. Can I just be honest? Can I just be real and tell you guys this? I don't care what social media influencers you've heard. I don't care what social media, influ media influencers that you guys follow and that you listen to. I am not about to give you all destructive behavior that can ultimately stop your chances of connecting with a woman that changes your life for the better. I don't know where some men get this from, that because you're spending your money on a woman, that that woman owes it to you to go to bed with you. I don't know where you guys are getting that from, but it's misinformation and I'm going to turn it around for the better. No woman owes you her body, fellas, just because you're spending money on her. You're supposed to prove to a woman that you like her if you step to her. You mean to tell me that if a man approaches me and that man says, hey, I find you attractive. Hey, I want to get to know you. Hey, I like your personality. Would you like to go to lunch? Would you like to go to dinner? Would you like to go to breakfast? Hey, let's catch a movie later today. Hey, um, let's go to a museum. Hey, let's go to a paint and sip. Whatever it is that man has planned, and I don't care if he takes me on a date every single weekend or two or three times out the week, I don't owe it to that man to allow him in my bed. I don't owe it to that man to do anything sexual with him because he is spending his money on me. That is what that man is supposed to do. Because like I told you guys before, and I said surprise, because it may come as a surprise to a lot of you all. When you show a woman that you like her, that woman is going to then, in turn, show you that she likes you and she finds you attractive. And then, in time, she's going to start doing certain things that shows you and proves to you that she finds you attractive and that she likes you. There are women out here, fellas, just like you call them up and you take them out for breakfast, you take them out for lunch, you take them out for dinner or coffee or tea. They will call you up and they will treat you to lunch. They will treat you to breakfast. They will treat you to dinner. They will equally have the same amount of energy you do. They will call you. They will check up on you. They will text you. They will ask you how your day is going. That's how this is supposed to go. So in my video message, I want every man to understand 
you have to stop being um a male chauvinist pig can i just say that stop being a male chauvinist pig stop being overly aggressive stop being arrogant stop being rude stop being disrespectful and i say this in love and fellas i come in peace i have to tell you i have to put these little disclaimers out because i know you guys hear things and you take it and run with it but i come in peace and i come in love my brothers every single man that's watching me stop thinking that a woman owes you to have sex with you because you're spending your money on her and guess what if you spend a certain amount of money on a woman and you find out in the end that that woman doesn't like you you have to be man enough to take that L and move on with your life and become a better judge of character because I'm gonna tell you fellas something just like women we know you all should know and spend enough time with a woman to find out if that woman really likes you or not you should know after a few conversations if that woman is digging you or if that woman is attracted to you or if that woman is really interested in you if that woman is not really answering your phone calls if that woman is not um texting you back um if that woman keeps making excuses and you keep repeatedly trying to invite her out chances are she probably is not really into you like that she probably is not really attracted to you or worst case scenario that woman may just have a man she may have a man she may be in a relationship and she's just an immature woman that's playing games and she's not being honest with you but this is why i promote on my channel when i make these types of videos this is why i tell you all take your time getting to know people you guys have to probe people it doesn't matter if it makes them uncomfortable I could care less if a guy comes to me and he says he's attracted to me and he wants to get to know me and he's interested in dating me as time goes on I'm gonna ask that man questions about himself I'm gonna ask him about his mother I'm gonna ask him about his father I'm gonna ask him does he have siblings I'm gonna ask him where he lives I'm gonna ask him what does he like to do I'm gonna ask him what made him interested in me you have to probe people i find it so shocking and disturbing how many people i actually have just general conversations with and <clears throat> they'll say that they are heartbroken and they're crying or they're distraught because they started dating a man or a particular woman and they found out later down the line that that man or woman wasn't who they thought they were. And I'll ask them, how did you not know this? How did you not see the red flags? Well, I didn't ask certain questions. Why are you all not asking questions? Fellas, ask these women questions. Get into their background. I'm not saying you have to do this on the first date, but... If you've gone on two or three dates with that woman, or you sitting on the phone with that woman for one, two, three, or four hours, why are you not digging into her personal life? That's how you get to know people. That's how you connect with people. That's how you start to find out if you and that person are on the same page. You ask questions. So what if somebody is getting uncomfortable? So what if somebody comes out and says, you know, you ask a lot of questions. You're supposed to ask questions. You're supposed to know who you're dealing with. You're supposed to know who you're up against. You're supposed to know, okay, am I about to open up a door with this particular person and regret it later down the line? Fellas, if you get with a woman and that woman is uncomfortable with you asking her questions and she's catching an attitude because you're asking her about herself and you're trying to get to know her, I would recommend that you move on to the next woman that's mature enough and that's really ready to be in a real relationship or she's ready for dating and she's out of the stage that she's playing games and lying, manipulating, uh, breadcrumbing and gaslighting. People are too old for this and I'm gonna keep putting these videos out here because this is what I see. This is, this, it's just a pattern of this and there seems to be a, 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 a wicked progression of this. 
where people are connecting with people. They are having sex with people. They are uh, becoming exclusive with people. They are dating people and they don't even really know them. They're not asking them any questions about themselves. So fellas, again, excuse me, in my video message, I just wanna tell you guys, Ask these women questions. And I want you all to understand and know a woman does not have to go to bed with you or open up her legs to you because you are spending money on her. Stop looking at it as you're wasting your time. You spending a few dollars here and there on one particular woman that you like, that's not a bad thing. You're not wasting your time. But as I stated before, from jump, you need to pay attention to that woman's body language. You need to see how that woman is treating you. You need to probe that woman and ask her questions because that's going to tell you, okay, I'm ready to go to date number two. I'm ready to go to date number three. I'm getting to know her more. She's opening up more. Don't play these games with women. Stop only trying to take a woman out or date a woman because you're specifically trying to have sex with her. Just stop, fellas. If, if you are this man that's doing this, I'm telling you on my video message to stop. Some of you all, this is all you have been known to do. You do not mean a lot of women any good when you approach them. Because you have the wrong agenda and you have the wrong motive. And there are good women out here. There are beautiful, intelligent, good-spirited, good-heart-having women. And you all mess it up every time. You play yourself every time. Because if you come into a woman and you just try to sleep with her, and you're just trying to whine and die her because you want to manipulate her and break her down. You want to try to search that woman to see if she has low self-esteem and insecurity. Or if she's desperate. You want to take advantage of that. You see a woman that's broken. <laughs> and you guys continue to take advantage of that for your personal gratification and benefit fellas I want you all to do better and I know this may be difficult because I am a woman making this video but I have to put these videos out because as I stated I want you all to unlearn a lot of what you have been being taught a lot of what they put out on social media is so toxic. But as a woman, I'm here to tell you, you want to touch a woman's heart? You want to get that girl that you think is so beautiful? You want to get that girl that your friends may tell you you will never have a shot with her? She is completely, totally out of your league. Be real with that woman. Tell that woman the truth. Have the right motive. When you approach that sister, when you approach that woman, have the right motive. Stop just looking for women to have sex with. If that's what you want, you're going to have to go get the women that's in your lane. But every woman that some of you fellas are approaching, we, we not on that. We're genuine, sincere women that really just want to get to know you. Don't want to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. Don't want to take advantage of you. Don't want to use you for your money. Don't want to play with your mind and your emotions and your feelings. That's the video message.